Hey guys, I am starting this video out uh, a little differently. I just got this box and I saw who the sender was and I was like, wait, what could this be? I am completely in shock. So I just did like, I opened up the box just to make sure I wasn't losing my mind and I saw what was inside. So I closed it immediately and I was like, you know what? I wanna share this moment with you guys. So I don't actually know what's like inside inside. I just know who this is from. So we are going to be doing a little bit of an unboxing together and then I'm going to go back upstairs into my filming room and we'll do what I'm going to presume to be our swatches and try-ons and all that kind of stuff and show you like you know with my better lighting like what's going on because I'm downstairs right now in my living area. So let me turn the camera around and we'll do this unboxing together. You guys, I'm like, my heart is racing because I just can't believe, I just can't believe, I can't believe that I got this box. Okay. So I got as far as this part. I saw the orange bag and I closed the box immediately and I was like, okay, I'm going to share this with my viewers because I think this moment is probably one of the more exciting moments I'm ever going to have on this channel, which is actually receiving Hermes PR. Like what? Okay, I've removed the bag from the box. Lots of <laughs> tissue paper. Um, oh, it's actually, I love when they send info. So let's see what this says. Sorry, sorry, this is boring you. Wow. Dear Beauty Aficionado. Ooh, it says other Hermes beauty objects will be revealed every six months until a complete line of makeup is created encompassing all categories. That's really exciting. And then on the other side, there's another letter. So interesting. I think what I'll do is maybe like take a picture of these letters and post them onto my YouTube community tab or something. Cause I know some of you will be very, very interested in what those say exactly. And I know, <laughs> I know that's probably impossible to read and we want to get to what is inside this bag. More, more tissue paper. Okay, we have a smaller white box here. I'm gonna take this out. This feels rather heavy. I'm gonna take that out. And then we have an orange box in here. Yes, it is. So I've got this box and I've got this box. I'm tempted to open up this one first just because it's orange. Oh, it's upside down. Was it upside down? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, okay. Hold on, let me put this back together. That was not upside down. It looked like it was upside down. Oh, okay, oh, oh, it's got a lid, okay. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> All right, okay. All right, but here, here's the first look at the PR box. Oh, let me see if I can get these in here looking a little bit prettier. Oh my gosh, they included a poppy lip shine. This is one of the limited edition ones that I really wanted that I couldn't find anywhere. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited for that. Um, this, I think, is the balm. It has the white bottom. And then, let's see. Well, let me take everything out, actually. And then we'll figure out what we have. And then, oh, wow. They included some of the limited edition ones. Oh, okay. So let me take all of these out. These are so pretty. And then there's one hiding. Gorgeous. Oh my God, and then this booklet is actually, it looks like a Pantone <laughs> color book where you have like sheets of what the colors look like. Oh, that's amazing. I don't even think I saw this in the store. This would have been really helpful. So that was what was in the orange box. Uh, let's see what's in here because this is actually pretty heavy. Okay, here's what the box looks like. Oh, and then it has this thing. Beauty is a gesture. Ooh. Oh, this is a book all about it. Oh, wow. Ooh, there's a picture of the lipstick case that I guess is coming because I went to the boutique and they did not have them yet. Ooh, this is going to make some really interesting reading. 
This book in and of itself is a piece of art. All right, well, I'm gonna take this party upstairs and we'll do some lip swatching and take like a better, closer look at all the packaging and everything. All right, so we are back upstairs in my filming room. Thank you so much for indulging me with that unboxing. I just thought you guys maybe would enjoy unboxing it along with me. I hope you did. Uh, so we're gonna get down to business. We're gonna start swatching and everything. I do wanna mention in case this is, um, your first video with me, or maybe you didn't catch my first Hermes lipstick video, I did purchase uh, two colors initially, and I did kind of talk about the release and the packaging and all of that stuff in that video. I did swatches of those two colors that I purchased in that video as well. I will do swatches like hand and lip swatches of those two colors in this video again, just so I can swatch them all together. But I'm just gonna kind of fly through the details of this release. So Hermes is coming out with a beauty line and they've started with lip products. So they have a lot of lipstick colors, beautiful lipstick colors, and they basically have the same colors in both the satin and the matte finish. And they also came out with limited edition colors as well. At this moment, most of them are sold out, the limited edition colors included. I don't know if the limited edition colors will come back into stock because they are limited edition, but I do know the ones that are part of the regular collection. They will be restocked eventually. I just don't know. I have no idea. I've asked a couple sales associates that work at Hermes. No one seems to know any sort of ETA on any restock or anything like that, but they said that they definitely will be coming back into stock. This is like their permanent lipstick line. So that is the good news. I just don't know when. And then I just wanna quickly show you what the packaging looks like. So this is the outer box. And then inside we have the Hermes orange box. And then the lipstick is inside. And then there's a little Hermes beige bag that it comes in and then the lipstick sits in there. So that's how all of these lipsticks are packaged. Very Hermes, very beautiful, simple and classic, yet very luxurious. One of the colors that I purchased myself is one of the colors that Hermes sent to me. So that is the number 33 orange Boat, I think is how you pronounce it. I keep messing that up, but I think it's Boat, at number 33 in any case. So I'm gonna set the one that they sent to me aside and I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all of the colors that I have for you. So I'm gonna start with, well, I'll start with the balm, even though it's totally clear, but this is what the balm looks like. And the packaging is a little bit different from their regular collection. So this is what the regular collection lipsticks look like. They have the gold at the bottom and the black in the middle. So the gold is in the middle here and you've got the white bottom. And it's just a clear balm. So the shape of the bullet is rounded. It's not you know slanted with the point like the lipsticks and Hermes is engraved in the actual bullet. I don't know if the camera will be able to pick that up, but it is there. Yeah, it's completely clear. So, so I don't think you'll be able to see anything on my hand, maybe just sort of a, a glistening there. Uh, but that is the balm. You bet your you bet your booty that this is going straight into my purse. So I will definitely be using this um, over the next couple of weeks and I will report back. Um, it does have the same fragrance as the rest of these lipsticks, which is kind of like a sweet powdery smell. But if it's like the lipsticks, uh, which I have been wearing quite a bit since I purchased them, uh, the scent dissipates pretty quickly and there's no taste to it, which is great. So that is the balm. And then I'm gonna swatch these in number order and I'm gonna start with the regular collection lipsticks and then we'll move on to the limited edition lipsticks which you know i really hope they restock but i don't know i don't know what they're doing with the limited edition ones anyway let's start with number 13 which is beige kalahari so this is in the satin finish and out of these five colors that i have i have four in the satin finish and one in the matte finish so here's beige kalahari and i have already used this and i enjoy it very much it's a great like nude, great everyday nude. So there is a hand swatch. So that is number 13, Beige Kalahari in the satin finish. So next up we have number 33, which is Orange Boat. So these two colors are the two colors that I talked about in my original uh, video. Just coincidentally, they're the two lightest colors out of the five that I have. There is Orange Boat number 33. I love this color, love it. I've been wearing it a lot. Oh, I forgot to give you guys a hand swatch. Let me give you a hand swatch. Sorry, there's the hand swatch for number 33. 
This satin formula is very, very comfortable on the lips and it stays comfortable. Like I said, I've been wearing the 33. I've been wearing the 33 this color more than the 13, the beige Kalahari, surprisingly. And I feel like the uh, pigmentation actually stays uh, for a while. I thought with this satin formula and the fact that it feels so moisturizing, I figured, oh, it'll probably wear off pretty easily. I'll just have to reapply, no big deal. But it wore off, it definitely wore off after I ate, but it didn't wear off as much as I thought. It was pretty much just the center there. And I felt like if I just like mashed my lips together again, I would get like an even application of it again. It was, it was lighter, definitely lighter than like an initial application, but I could get away with it, which I was pleasantly surprised about because this is a very creamy moisturizing formula. Again, really, really comfortable on the lips. Next up we have number 64, which is Rouge Cassac. I will have all the names written out down below in my description box, but it's number 64 and this is, oh, this is the matte lipstick. So this is a matte finish. Ooh, ooh, look at this color. It's a red, with just a little bit of pink in there. How pretty. And then Hermes is engraved in the front of the bullet there, just like the satin ones. This does not feel like a matte lipstick at all. It feels really creamy. Wait, I'm so confused. Let me look at the finish closely. Yeah, I would not call this like a flat matte. I wonder if it's gonna like set down a little bit, but I still see like a little bit of radiance there. It's a little bit flatter than the satin. It definitely isn't um, quite as moisturizing feeling as the satin. I'm just gonna sit here for a minute because I wanna see if this kind of sets down and gets a little bit more matte and if it gets like a little bit more drying. I'm just very curious because it feels kind of like a, a cream lipstick and it definitely doesn't have like a flat appearance to it. Yeah, I feel like it's kind of like setting down. It's starting to feel a little bit more like powdery. The appearance is very nice though. It doesn't look like dry. It doesn't make my lips look dry or puckered. You guys know what I mean. <laughs> it doesn't look like that, but I do feel like it's starting to look a little bit more matte. This color is good though. I love this color. So that's number 64 Rouge Cassac, Rouge Cassac, Cassac, uh, in the matte formula. Really beautiful. Oh, and I forgot to do a hand swatch again. Okay, next up is number 75, and this is the other one that I got. So this is the one that I purchased after I filmed my initial video on these lipsticks. Um, and this is number 75, Rouge Amazon Amazon. Uh, and this is a satin finish, but here is the color of that one. Let me do this hand swatch before I forget again. So this one is a little bit warmer than the previous color. That was a little messy, <laughs> but here is number 75. All right, and the last one that is part of their regular collection I have here is number 85, Rouge H. And oh, this color, and I've always wanted like a Kelly bag in this Rouge H color. It's just such a rich, rich kind of, I don't know, it's not quite as uh, orangey as like a brick red, but it's, oh, it's just so beautiful. So again, this is in satin finish and there is Rouge H, sorry, that was on the curve of my hand. So the swatch is a little, a little crappy there. Okay, that's <laughs> kind of a terrible application, but we're gonna go with it. So this is Rouge H in the satin finish. And here are all of the colors next to one another. So this is number 13, number 33, number 64, number 75, and number 85. My lips are starting to feel raw. Okay. <laughs> Let me wipe off these swatches and then we'll move on to the limited edition ones. Again, I don't know if these are gonna come back into stock. I think they're pretty much sold out everywhere. Um, hopefully they will. I don't know if they anticipated such a high demand so quickly. I've got number 27, number 51, and number 94, along with the Poppy Lip Shine. And I'm gonna end with this because I think this is the one I wanna wear. This is the one that I've been searching for high and low, and it was sold out before I could get my hands on it. So I'll start with number 27. It's hard to read the bottom of this because it's black lettering on this dark purple, but this is the packaging on that one. So we've got the really dark, 
cherry dark plum, the yellow, and then the white. And this looks to be a matte finish. Wow, this reminds me of like a Lisa Eldridge color. Ooh, it's really cool though. In the viewfinder, it looks like my lips are like glowing, like pulsating. Seriously, in my viewfinder, all I can see are these lips. Wow, and really perfect for spring, summer. Let me do a hand swatch. So this is number 27. Next up, we have number 51. I'm not gonna even attempt pronouncing this. Ooh, and this looks like a satin finish. Wow. I love how bright these colors are. Let's do a hand swatch. This is a little bit deeper than the one that I just put on, but really, really bright. Ooh, wow. Number 51. Love this one. All right, and then we have number 94, Violet in Sensei, <laughs> oh, this looks like another satin finish. Oof, that is beautiful. Ooh, how pretty. It's like an orchid color. And 94 on the lips. These colors are so, so pretty, so dramatic. <laughs> Let me take this off and then we will put on the poppy lip shine. My lips are definitely a bit stained from these brighter, bolder colors. So I don't know how good of a sense you're gonna get of this poppy lip shine, but we'll definitely do a hand swatch. Here's the poppy lip shine. Oh, this has like little golden flecks in there. Oh, I hope they come out with more like these. I haven't even tried it on or swatched it. <laughs> and I'm already thinking they need to come out with more versions of this. Oh, it's like a really light, shimmery. Oh, look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, get on my lips. Ooh, just a subtle sparkle there. Oh, I love it. Oh, this one is so special. I really do hope they come out with like, like a pinky version and maybe a purpley version. So maybe even a clearish kind of version with just the sparkles. How pretty. It's so much fun without being like obnoxious. I love it. So here are all the limited edition colors they sent me. So here's the Poppy Lip Shine. Here's number 27, 51, and 94. And I will have all the color names down below in the description box because my pronunciation is horrible. So definitely check down there if you are curious. And one last thing. I had read before this launch, I had read that these cases were going to be refillable, but I didn't see that any of the refills were actually for sale. And so I was really confused, but these cases are refillable. And I believe if you take them like into the boutique, they'll be able to refill them for you. I don't know if they're selling the refills. I'm not exactly sure what the situation is. I would assume that they're going to eventually sell the refills, but these cases are refillable, which I was really, really happy to see because I remember having read it somewhere and then when I got them, I was like, these aren't refillable because I had tried when I got them and then I went back and I found the article and it was like, yeah, refillable. So I really tugged on this. I was like, if I break it, I break it. The things I'll do for YouTube. Yeah, they, they do come out and they are refillable. So I think refills will definitely be on the way or something, but I will keep you abreast of the situation. So that is it, a huge, huge, Huge thank you to Hermes for sending over these beautiful lipsticks. I'm just, I'm still I shocked, absolutely thrilled, absolutely shocked that I received this package. So I am so grateful. Thank you so, so much. I really, really love and adore them all. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are all staying healthy and to quote Bailey Sarian, make good choices. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.